All right. Rakati Hawa, Rakati Hawa Shai, Rakati Hawa, Rakati Hawa Shai, Rakati Hawa, Rakati Hawa Shai. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And honors, salutations to all you Akim out there that's laboring in the truth and sincerity. And um, call this uh, patient zero update, if you will. And it's, you know, through the spirit of the Lord. I'm just going to read this article real quick. And I have one or two precepts that I'm going to hit. And then, uh, you know, that's going to be it on this. I just want, this was just a, a or it started as a thought through the spirit. The reason why I'm making it, you know, and I'm going to read this article. I'll go into it. But um, last last night, um, I was with, the, with uh, you know, Apostle Rhyme Lab, um, Elder Abad. And then it was just me and Elder Abad at one point. And, you know, we throughout the whole point, I mentioned Apostle Rhyme Lab because we was just speaking about everything that's happening now, you know, which I'm pretty sure every brother is speaking about things and just watching. Because that's what we're commanded to do. Yahweh Shai said, watch as well as pray. So we're supposed to be up on everything. Because this is all prophecy. This is leading into the, basically the uh, greatest salvation to ever happen. You know, the greatest. The greatest destruction to ever take place. You know, these are the end time prophecies with the martial law, uh, World War Three. You know, which, of course, I'm not saying it in no chronological order. Uh, the issue of the RFID chip, you know, um, you know, just just things getting even worse than what they are. The perilous times that's prophesied. So now this is from New York Post. As you see it, it says a uh, shrimp vendor at Wuhan market may be coronavirus patient zero. So me not have I mean, I didn't have no knowledge of uh, where this thing spoke because we know that the CDC, we know he saw crazy diseases and everything at the end of the day. Right. But. What they do as carriers a lot of times, because um, and I did a video like a, a months ago about uh, uh, the bubonic plague, which these chinks they got it from eating marmot liver, right? Marmot was like a rodent, it's a type of rodent. So and then even they had a, another virus, but they're saying it's not gonna be that big. I didn't get a chance. To, it was in the news real quick. Um, they said it's more dangerous than the coronavirus. But he said they don't think it'll spread because the only way you can get it is by eating bats and those type of animals. Well, shit, ain't that what happened? With, with, you know what I'm saying? And and now the reason why the Spirit saw me doing this, um, and I'll call it uh, patient zero or allegedly, you know, or update or whatever, because the reason why you spoke this happened is because of what? What people eat, the dietary law. So how do you mean, you know, that it's not going to be a... a chance of that they said that this they said that all right now in the coronavirus supposedly allegedly is killing people so fast where the numbers you know and they got to count out i thumbs going into it last week but now they said that this is worse than the coronavirus uh the hat, the hat and this, i forgot what it is but you only could get it from eating you know uh eating uh bats and stuff like that which again that's a delicate testy for these people such as shrimp all right which you're not supposed to be eating no shrimp. So uh, it said the shrimp vendor at Wuhan market may be coronavirus patient zero. And last night, what, what I was saying to the elder I bought, I said, I said, you know, just, just, you know, just, just uh, rock with me because we know that, you know, the thing it speaks about, uh, uh, they say, um, they compare it to like the flu and everything, but we all know that if your body's totally alkaline and if you eating the right stuff, you, you know, you, you, chances are you, you're gonna uh your body you, if your immune system strong the body was created to fight off any any uh virus or disease so what they do is they got to create things to weaken your immune system and you die just like hiv and any other uh what they call it uh aut autonomous uh disease that they have out there right so it says um a shrimp peddler at the chinese market where the coronavirus pandemic likely began has been identified as one of the first victims of the disease and possibly patient zero. Okay, so the 57-year-old woman identified by the Wall Street Journal as we, you young, if I said it right, was the first person from the now notorious uh, Huanan market in Wuhan to test positive for the deadly bug. She was at work December 10th when she developed what she thought were cold symptoms 
the Chinese outlet paper reported. So she walked to a small clinic for treatment and then went back to work, likely spreading the contagion. See, hear that word, contagion. I felt a bit tired, but not as tired as previous years, she told the paper, according to a translate translator. Every winter, I was always suffering from the flu, so I thought it was the flu. She visited the local clinic on the 11th and received an injection, but didn't feel any better. So she went to the 11th hospital. The 11th hospital. Meanwhile, she is, she's bringing the contagion. She's bringing that virus. Everyone's spreading it. The doctor at the 11th hospital could not figure out what was wrong with me and gave me pills. But those didn't work either. But then I felt a lot worse and very uncomfortable. I did not have the strength or energy. On December 16th, she went to the Union Hospital, one of the city's biggest, to get checked out. A doctor there described her illness as ruthless and told her several other people with the same market had already come in with similar symptoms. So the, the point being, last night when I was talking with the brother um, I bought, I said, because, you know, because they had all these other different random people doing it. And what they're doing is doing the scare thing. They got everybody, you know, especially people that are notable. Or, or from every genre, every walk of life, hey man, get tested, man. I mean, not get, well, yeah, get tested. Uh, pr practice social distancing, right? They they pushing that heavy. Then you got other people, you know, they bringing out stories. This is one pastor in Virginia. He was supposed to be the first one that died of it. He was the one that said that it was a, a hysteria, and, and he kept going traveling abroad and everything. And then you know now Scarface got it. Scarface said he he said he don't know how the hell he got. He said he did everything they said. Social distances, gloves, masks, and everything. He caught it. And there's other people who were doing it, you know, doing the so called right thing. That's why you got Cuomo saying the self quarantining might might have backfired. Because, see, he saw the scriptures tell you clearly that he's a physician of no value. You know, even though they're they promoting this guy, Dr. Fauci, you know, and he just looked like a, a grimy old devil, you know what I'm saying? But they got him all over the places. You know, he's a, the, the expert, the, the king of the viruses, and all that. No, look, the bottom line, the issues of death belong to the most side. We keep telling you that. It's in the book of Psalms uh, 68 in the 20th verse, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Then it tell you first Psalms 2 and 6 that the, the Lord said, I, I am the Lord. I kill it and I make it for life. I wound it and I make it make sick. So if you get sick or whatever, ultimately it's because of the most high. He sanctioned it, you know, and he's the one that has the power to heal you, heal you from that condition. So what I was telling the brother is. I said, now, how come all these people getting it? And then they saying they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. I said, now, think about the dietary law and through the spirit, the Mosai shielded us because why? We observed the Lord, Mosai's dietary law. I said, the diet could probably very well be it because you know these people, they like to eat shrimp and lobster. That's a delicatessen. So they'll be eating shrimp and pork and things and not realizing that they're a, a victim, that those those are the, the, the pork that they eat and the shrimp that they eat and are carriers and they have uh what do you call it they have um all type of worms and diseases anyway that they're eating inside these, these uh abominable dishes that they eat so that's you know that was the thing that i was saying to the brother so that might really be like a key key link to it because they know the diet of these people and most people love eating shrimp and everything i didn't know that it st allegedly started at a shrimp uh at a shrimp market until just now just reading now just reading this this article so i said man so I'm, i gotta do do a do a little something on it and then this scripture well a couple of scriptures came to my mind but i bought i thought about this in proverbs the eighth chapter verse 33 hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not the instruction is what the law statutes and commandments of the bible when the lord said not to eat pig there was a reason for not eating pig when the lord said not to eat shrimp because you got some people who say oh no we don't eat no pork but then, then the niggas would be talking about eating lobsters and stuff, you know, or eating shrimps and everything. You know, you got a lot of Muslims that they off anyway. The most I ain't dealing with Islam anyway, but they, they right as far as don't eat the pork. But then there's, you have some of them that eat shrimp or lobster. Same thing with Seven Day of Venice and, and other people who practice not eating pork, but they'll still eat lobster and shrimp. You still going off. The Lord said, hear instruction and be wise. You be wise for you not to be eating no goddamn bat, no uh, anything that the Lord commanded not to, because why? They poison this creep. They they could poison your body. They have their purpose. They're not created to be eaten. Bottom line. So it says, "Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates." And that's why you're supposed to pay attention and watch daily, right? Waiting at the posts of my doors. 
And at the end of the day, the Lord said, wait ye upon me. So that's what we're all doing. You know, we all, we, we've been in quarantine. Since you come into this truth, you've been quarantined under the, the uh, shadow of the almighty. All right. You, you, in a righteous quarantine, man, the most high preserved it. So that's why none of, none of that evil could come near brothers, man. You know, unless it, unless it be not to say that we're invulnerable and not to say a brother can't get, no, cause that's how a shot said he came to heal the sick. All right. But he's talking about the sick amongst Israel. The elect, cause you got crackers in them. They trying to use that scripture, you know, uh, I think even that grimy ass Dr. Fauci, I think he tried to quote that scripture. Nah, they ain't talking about you devils, man. But anyway, it said, for whoso findeth me, findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. So that's why we, we constantly told you, brothers and the sisters, you know, Jake, period, stop eating that pork, stop eating that uh, uh, swine, all these abominations, shrimp, lobster, you, you know, catfish and all that. We've been telling Jake that. It said, but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. And sin is what? First John, the fourth chapter, right? He that, and, and a lot of people don't even know what, what, what our sin is still to this, this day, right? First, first John three and four, whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law for sin is the transgression of the law. So if you, it said, if you sin against me, meaning you break the laws that the most High set up, you doing a disservice to your own self, man. And you're going to catch a coronavirus or something else, man. Uh, all kind of diseases that that you're not gonna be able to come back from. That's gonna destroy you, your family, have you all fucked up in the spirit. Because what messes people up more about getting sick and dying is just the thought of not knowing. You know the agony, the uh, you know, the people get all messed up and all emotional. What, where are you gonna go? What's gonna happen to this one and that one? See, when when you know the truth, you set free from all those worldly worldly worries and stuff like that. You understand? And then. When you come to the truth, you actually die to the world. You become dead to the world and you become alive in, in the Lord. So you're going to live forever anyway, you know, because you understand the uh, the transitions. You understand that the, this is just a shell, all right, and that we all have a spirit that goes back to the Heavenly Father and he's able to send it back in another, in another body, you understand? So it said, but he that sinneth against me wrong of his own soul, all they that hate me love death. So if you don't want to keep the commandments, you don't love the Lord, so you must love death. And real quick, I'm going to bring this one more precept. This is John 14 and 15. It says, and this is straight up, if you love me, keep my commandments. This is what the Lord said. If you love him, keep his commandments. So, you know, you got people talking about the laws of the Bible is done away with. That's the old. Now you see them, what? They all quoting the Bible again. They trying to say, well, we're not living in the end prophecy times and stuff like that, you know? But um, this was just pretty much more so. It was just some thoughts that I had. Uh, we were speaking with the the, the elder I buy and the parts of Ramla. We were speaking about the different things, how Esau is setting up, putting everything in place for his new world order, which is all prophecy for them to start chipping people up. Uh, they're thin in the herd, which a lot of people are catching on to what they're doing, you know, because these are things that's been spoken of. And through the spirit of the Lord, we have been out there, even though a lot of people act like they didn't hear us. They still heard us. They, they put in the back of their mind. So whenever some shit happened, he's like, well, wait a minute, man. With them Israelites right, you know? Shit, you goddamn right we was right. Especially the Israelites, the most side setup that he's dealing with, man. His prophets, man. All right? You got different parts of the body and everything. And the most I always had his prophets out there uh, on, on fire. But anyway, with that, I'm going to end it there. I just wanted to just uh, go on to some of this article showing you uh, they, now they're saying this is possibly the, the first person that started off that had the coronavirus was this uh mobile bike chick right here that worked at this shrimp shrimp uh market all right so that's where it started in the shrimp market you see so with that you know hope you brothers are edified and as always all praises to you how about shimmy i was shot shallow one